before get started you need to create a cloudflare account so and also to get the access for the for this r2 service you need to link your credit card when you are signing up for cloudflare and don't worry cloudflare this r2 service has a great free tier so you can use uh, 10 gb of storage per month and 1 million request of class a operations and so on so unless you are exceeding this free tier you are not going to get charged so once you create your account and link your credit card and once everything is good to go you can to move to this r2 service here and first of all what you have to create is you have to create a bucket create a bucket and you can give a name for the bucket I will go with test bucket and I'm going to set the location automatic and default storage class to standard and I'm going to create the bucket so this will create a test bucket and make sure if you go to the settings and make sure you have a note on this name and the location and also this s3 api as well up to this point here so you need this uh, values when you are using uh, when you are trying to upload files uh, using uh, javascript or using the uh, npm package and after that we also need different access keys for example we need uh, access key id and secret access key so to generate these access keys you need to go to manage r2 api tokens here and you have to create an api token and you can if you are going to upload the files you have to give admin read and write access here and i'm going to keep all these filtering apis and everything as default values because i don't want to filter anything any url and i'm going to create api token and you have to save this token value and access key id and secret access key so make sure you save this you won't be able to access these uh, values again once you click finish so make sure you save this and move forward so this is all that we need from the cloudflare side and after that we can move to our code once you have all the properties let's create our .env.local file and paste all your access id secret access keys and account id and endpoint in the uh, .env.local file first of all i'm going to install the aws sdk client s3 bucket sorry i need to install the client s3 it has installed successfully then what i'm going to use i'm going to import two methods that's put object command and this three client all right so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new s3 client to do that i'm going to use let's say cons s2 equal new s3 client and inside the new s3 client I'm going to set these parameters so I need the region endpoint and credentials so this is the object that I'm going to set here and region you can set the original region from the settings as I showed earlier and also you can set to auto as well and I'm going to set the endpoint everything is taken from the process.env endpoint that we uh, configured on our env file let's convert our file to an buffer so to, to do that let's follow these two steps all right after that what we are going to do is we are going to create a new put object command as we imported uh, from the s3 client here so you should enter the bucket name that you created here i'm going to set it as test let me double check If we go to buckets here, we have two buckets. This is 
test bucket. So the bucket name should be exactly same. And then we are going to set the key and let's give the file name as the key and as body we are going to pass a buffer or oh, this should be put object command i have imported a wrong one here all right and after that, we have the last steps. We are going to send this created put object command to our R2 bucket. So to do that, I'm going to use a try catch block. And this will be a promise R2 dot send. And we are going to send a put object command we created here. If it's successful, we can return a success command. I will send the success command here. And if it's an error, let's send the error. Let's give a 500 error and success fails. And also we can do a console log just to know what's going on and now let's try to upload and see how our upload function is working since we modified our env files we have to restart our application so i'm going to run restart it again reload the page here and let's select a file and press upload Let's go and have a look inside our bucket. So this is the test bucket we created. Let's go inside. All right. The file have been successfully added for our R2 bucket in Cloudflare. Hope you guys learned something out of it. And if you learned something, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It supports a lot. And let's meet with another awesome tutorial like this. Have a nice day, guys.